Dr. Michael, I've been asked to explain why the Kangen water machine worked so well. As you know, I've had a daughter that had gastroschisis and we had a lot of digestive issues, dehydration issues, and having tried several different water alkalizers, when I tried the Kangen machine, I couldn't figure out why it not only worked, but it worked so well in just a few days. Having done a bunch of research, this is kind of a synopsis or a summary of everything that I've done, I've dug through. Every cell in the human body has what's called an aquaporin. That little six-sided figure is going to represent the aquaporin helix. And our current water supply, tap water, well water, oceanic water, is clustered in a large group of molecules that is theoret theoretically 16 to 25 molecules. This port is, has a six minute six molecule funnel that tapers down to allow rapid hydration of the cell and a fast way to excrete toxins from the cell. However, our large water molecules don't necessarily fit in there. On top of that, the inside of a cell normally has a positive charge and the outside cell membrane has a negative charge. This charge maintains about 120 millivolts and as we age, that drops down until ultimately you know, if it's in the, six, in the 60 range, half that voltage, people usually have some kind of chronic condition like fibromyalgia, cancer, diabetes, something to that effect. The reason that this wattage is important is because it works in conjunction with your heartbeat. When your heart beats, it causes a cell to contract. When the cell compresses down, that's what causes it to excrete CO2 and toxins and it beats again and it pops the cell open and that causes it to draw in oxygen and nutrition and it continues to do this on down the through to the chain this is done via the hemoglobin hemoglobin is bioavailable iron that we'll get back to why that's important in a minute what makes the Enagic water machine so special is the way that it reprocesses and restructures water to a high antioxidant solution. Water naturally occurs in nature in lakes that have been struck by lightning, icebergs right after they've been melting in the first few feet of oceanic water, and some Himalayan streams, things like that. But as a rule, this type of water supply is very limited on our planet. Well, what Enagic has done is they've added a filter to clean the water, and they've captured that lightning strike. And it runs the, the water through seven plates, highly charged, and spits out water that has been restructured. It makes it much more bioavailable for hydrating, and it carries a bit of a charge. This is what you'd call 8.5 water because there's about four molecules that are anywhere from, you know, five to six molecules. You could say that the 9.0 water breaks it down a little bit further. The 9.5 water makes the molecules even smaller for better transportation. This is all done through the process of electrolysis. All the drinking waters use pure electrolysis to fix that. That's done via the amount of wattage in the machine, amperage, and the amount of surface area that the water comes in contact with the plates. So if electrolysis is a combination of watts or amps times surface area, that's going to be a key factor in choosing a machine. A lot of your different co uh, competitors have comparison charts that show why theirs is the best. There's one that's called Alkaline Water Plus com and you can go to their uh, iron uh, water ionizer comparison chart and you can go right all the way down you can forget all the bells and whistles if you go right straight to the bottom it'll discuss how the power supply is either transformer or switch mode well the transformer is part of the reason that this particular device is listed as a medical device it gives a very elevated steady rate of power compared to a switch mode power supply which ramps up and drops down, ramps up and drops down, ramps up, ramps down. It's billed as a 
um, energy efficient machine because it's only running at peak voltage part of the time. Well, if you were to run that at full voltage, it would melt the plates. Let me explain. If you were to take a 40 watt light bulb and you had a filament here, and this is what a 100 watt light bulb looks like with a nice thick filament. If you put the 40 watt light bulb in the 100 watt socket, it's going to pop because there's too much voltage going through and it causes the the filament to arc or pop and you lose power. It works the same way with these machines. You have to have a higher grade filament or in this case these water ionizing plates that are platinum coated titanium in order to maintain the highest voltage. Well if we go back to that alkaline water plus comparison chart you'll note that you can throw out all the switch mode power supplies because they're sporadic. Then you start looking for the transformers. After you get to the transformers, you'll see some that are 110, 150 with a half amp, 110 with a full amp, and then you'll see one with 230 watts with two and a half amps. You run it all the way up to the top, and it's going to be Enagix SD501. So that's kind of why it narrows it down. Why that's important is because this electrolysis process, when you have enough voltage, will literally take the water molecule, which is diagrammed like that, and it spits it out to be hydrogen, I mean hydroxide, and a hydrogen ion. This hydrogen ion right here is the most powerful antioxidant that we know of. That's part of what takes these charges here. Well, if we go back and do the research on the aquaporin, it is impervious to a charge, which means the water which has a negative charge is going to be attracted to the positive charge inside the cell, so it's going to want to go in, but the charge is going to hang up on the cell membrane. And that kind of recharges these cells and brings us back up to a normal voltage. Therefore, we can really start to work the decompression, the detoxification um, process. This process here known as an antioxidant. In the human body, oxidation basically is corrosion or rust. And it will have a drastic effect, especially on our hemoglobin. The number one oxidative disease that we have right now is cancer. The number one acidic disease we have is hyperketoacidosis, also commonly known as diabetes. Secondarily, the acidic diseases are really associated with all your inflammatory responses. That's your arthritis, your irritable bowel syndrome, uh, fibromyalgia, things like that. All of those autoimmune are inflammatory, highly aggressive diseases that are based on acidic responses because there's a rapid oxidative process that's creating the stress. As you drink this water, this number here is so high. A lot of people want to get their antioxidants up and they're working, worrying about alkalinity and things like that. To get your antioxidants up, green tea is one of the most powerful antioxidants that we knew. And it's only like negative 37. Like acai berry is supposedly in the 40, negative 40s. Georgia muscadine is in the 60s. This water, standard drinking water, is anywhere from 450 to 500. And when you're dealing with a special disease process, the 11.5 can be upwards of negative 800. And that's really important when people that are really, really sick. What we're finding is, when they start drinking this water and they get into the 9.5 water, which is about the negative 500, it's a rapid absorption, it carries the nutrition deep into the cell, helps to repair the cell, flush the toxins out at a really, really outrageous rate. By outrageous, I mean, clinically speaking, you can flush cells in weeks to a month. That doesn't mean you've completely detoxified, 
but it means that you have got a huge jump start on the process. For instance, and I use these numbers because they work easy. If somebody weighs 160 pounds and they are 72% water, that means 115 pounds of them is water. If there's 8.34 pounds per gallon of water, they are approximately 13.92 gallons of water. Well, if you drink one gallon a day, it's going to take you two weeks to rehydrate. If you drink a half gallon, it's going to take you four weeks. So the ability to flush the cells, rehydrate 72% of the entire organism with high energy water, getting the antioxidants and the bioavailable oxygen directly into the cells is simply the fastest means to get the person on the road to health and wellness. Is it the only thing necessary? No. But it's a huge part. Huge part meaning 72%. Um, when I first looked at this, I thought it was simply another water alkalizer. I had no idea that the magic in this machine was the ORP in the way that they restructure the water for human availability. On a cellular level, it gets water into the body faster than anything I've ever seen.